Hey, this is Julio for Polycam, and in this tutorial, Creating an Environment, I'm going to take you through the process of creating and customizing your game level in Unreal Engine. I'm going to show you the basics of how to clean and develop your star Unreal Engine scene, from adding a skybox to building a floor. Then we'll add even more life to our scene by populating it with fun scans we found on Polycam Explore. In my previous tutorial, Creating a Character, I showed you how to create a custom video game character by scanning a friend with Polycam and animating it using Adobe Mixamo. We're going to use the same technique in this tutorial to import more animated, real-life friends to create one fun meta party. We will even go through the process of scanning and importing a larger environment using Polycam's LiDAR mode. Let's have some fun! Okay, awesome. So first thing I'm going to do is go open my Chrome window and go to Polycam. So I'll type poly.cam into my search bar. And now we're going to find some scans. So go to the left side where it says Explore, and you'll find scans that others have made public. At the top, you can click Popular to find some scans that have been widely saved and liked. Here you can select some and place them into an album. I made an album called Creating an Environment and I found this truck scan. I'd like to use this in my scene, so I'm gonna hit export and select GLTF and start download. Next, with my downloads folder open, I'll add underscore truck to differentiate it. Then I'll drag it onto my desktop. Then I'll open Blender. Delete all my starter content and go to file, import, and select my truck GLTF file. Awesome. So the next step we're going to have to do is clean up our mesh slightly and position it correctly. Use the gumball tool to position it, and then in edit mode, you can clean up your mesh accordingly. Make sure to get the object as flat as possible to the ground. Select all, non-manifold, mesh, merge, and by distance, and that will remove any unwanted vertices. You can also use in the sculpt mode, the lasso trim command to trim out any unwanted mesh. You can also use a plane as a clipping object in the boolean command to create a flat bottom to your object. Now that we're done, I'm going to hit export and save my file as an FBX. Remember to limit to selected objects and set the path mode to copy. Now, I'll drag in my FBX into my scene in Unreal. Then I can drag it directly into my scene and position it how I'd like it. So our next step is going to be cleaning up our starter scene. I'm going to select all of this information, like the third person text and any other content from the starter, and delete it. Next, I'll find a box in the Geometry tab on the left-hand side, and this will function as my floor. You can go into the top view to scale it and position it how you'd like it. Then in Perspective, use a gumball to position your floor. Awesome. Now on the right-hand side, where it says Material, you can scroll down to find a material you like. I like this ocean material. Great. Now I'll position this truck again for my scene. And now is the fun part where you can add more generic objects to liven up and add some life to your scene. I'm going to add this platform for Brynn to dance on. Remember to use the scale commands and the gumball tool to position your scans accordingly. You can also change the material of any objects. On the left hand side you see where it says lighting needs to be rebuilt. To fix that go to where it says build, build lighting only. That will rebuild any light. And then on the left hand side where it says lights, you can find the light command and you can place any lights into your scene. You can also alter the intensity on the right hand side and position it with the gumball tool and even change the light color. Awesome. Now is the fun part where you can customize your lights, position them how you'd like. Now if I hit play, I can see Bryn dancing on his platform with the pink lights around him. Awesome! 
Next, I'm going to go through adding more materiality to these objects. I'll find the steel material and just add that material to these objects. Awesome. So now our next step is to create a skybox. To do that, go on the left hand side where it says search classes and type in the bar sky and you'll find the sky sphere. You can just click and drag it directly into the scene. And then you'll see on the right hand side in the world outliner it says BP Sky Sphere. You can find Edit Blueprint Sky Sphere. Here you'll find all the parameters of your Sky Sphere, and on the right hand side, you can click and find the color curves of your sky, and you can alter them accordingly. Then hit Save and see the update to your sky. You can also on the right hand side alter the color of the horizon or clouds. Awesome. Once you're satisfied, you can zoom out and check out your scene. So our next step is going to go, be going back to Polycam, and I'm going to find even more fun scans that others have taken to populate my scene. I like this payphone scan that someone took, so I'm going to like it and plus this plus icon to add it to my album, creating an environment. Then I'll hit save. Then I'll go to my album and once again, I'll find my scan. And if you're satisfied, select export, GLTF and start download. Now we'll go through that same process of cleanup in Blender, making sure it's as clean as possible. So we bring it into Unreal. It looks super clean. Excellent. So I'm going to continue this process. I've already saved a bunch that I've found and I'll continue to download them as GLTF, clean them up in Blender and then import them into my scene in Unreal Engine. This giraffe would look super cool in our scene, don't you think? I also found this really cool gas station that we're going to position into our scene. Then I found this astronaut and really the point here is to just have fun with placing your objects and creating as much life as you'd like. I think this watermelon was taken really well using Polycam and I like to bring it into my scene. Excellent. So now we're all done bringing in scans from Polycam. I'm going to show you how to scan an environment using the Polycam Lighter mode. Go to your phone and open the Polycam app. Just hit record in the LiDAR mode. Then make sure to go around your space as slowly as possible to gather all the important objects. Focus on trying to get as detailed as possible. Once you're done, you can see your, your scan processing. Hit process in the app and then you can see in the app it's showing up. Next, hit upload to Polyweb. And then you'll be able to import it again into Blender. Once more, we're going to use the sculpt mode to clean up this mesh. Scanning real life environment can add a lot of life to your scene and make your space feel more realistic. I brought this roof in to add a bit more context into my Unreal Engine scene. Excellent. Next you can hit save all. So now is a fun process where I'm going to scan a few friends, this is my friend Boris, and we're going to bring them in as animated characters. Once you've hit scan, you can find them in the Polycam app. 
How meta is that? Next, you can export as GLTF and bring them into Blender to clean up once again. For more information on how to get a good human scan, clean up the textures, and bring them into Mixamo, make sure to check out my previous tutorial, Creating a Character. That looks really good, so I'm going to export again as FBX and drag that into Adobe Mixamo. Then I'll add my joints as I did in my previous tutorial, creating a character, and hit upload. Now you can scan the library of animations on Adobe Mixamo. I think this Roomba dancing animation looks great on Varus, so I'll hit download. Now I can drag in my characters into my scene and hit play to test them out. How fun is that? Next, I'll scan a few more friends and bring them into my scene to create this fun meta party. There's Leia doing the twist. Now I'll add Larissa into my scene. There's Pete hip hop dancing on the roof. Last but not least, I'll make Zach animated and he will also go on the roof. Make sure to spend some time positioning your objects correctly. This is my friend Ozon. We're going to grab him as one more scan. This time I want to get a static pose to bring into my scene, so I'm going to have him holding the plant and I'll scan again using Polycam. Awesome. Now you can just drag your objects to get them where you like them. Make sure you're satisfied with your scene and hit save all. Last but not least, we can hit gameplay and explore our scene with scans that we've populated with Polycam Explorer and real life friends that we scan using Polycam and animating using Adobe Mixamo. How fun is that? Excellent. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please let us know if you have any questions, and please show us your projects when you make them. We look forward to seeing what you do.